everyone and welcome to my first ever how-to video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a resurrection garden and then hopefully on Palm Sunday on our Palm Sunday service we can start to think about prettifying it and adding new life, signs of new life to show that Jesus has risen. So I'm going to start off and just let you know that everything I've used I've gathered around the house. I haven't been out, haven't paid for anything expensive, but there are variations to everything. So please feel free to adapt it. So to start off with, I've just got a party plate with a plastic one. It doesn't have to be, I'm using a plastic one because I'm going to use some grass seed and water. So I take the plate and fill it with some soil, which in typical style, I wasn't prepared and I've left it over here. Soil. I'm going to fill the plate with soil. Then we need to create the landscape. So on soil, you could use grass. Put some grass seed on there. But if you haven't got soil, if you haven't got grass, cut up bits of green paper, anything that resembles grass, anything you'd like to use, sand, whatever. I'm just using mud and grass. Then again, you need to create the cave, the place where Jesus was placed and the stone was rolled over. Um, you can use stone, again, you can use whatever, you can create it out of cardboard, you can even just use a yogurt pot or a little plant pot. So here, right at the front, I'm going to place the cave. I'm also going to place, this is just a piece of tissue that I've separated, so it's a one ply, really thin, fold it up, place it in the tomb to resemble the folded grave clothes when we open the tomb on Easter Sunday. And I find a perfectly rhinestone, which I'm going to place now in front of the cave, so that it's all sealed up ready for that glorious morning when it's rolled away and Jesus is risen. We also need to add three crosses. I'll put that at the back like so. And just to show you how I made those, twigs found in the garden have to buy any spring. You know those horrible annoying things that they put in your clothes to hang them up with? I always cut mine off. So I'd use that, put it on the cross, tie it, tie it, secure it and then place three crosses in your garden. So now if you have used real grass seed don't forget to water it. And put a bit of water on there. Now, in typical Blue Peter styley, here's one I made earlier. So my grass has started to grow. I've used stones in this one and a shell because it made a lovely little alcove to go over and create my cave. Now the next step that we'll start on Palm Sunday is decorating it to show new life, creation. So that we have sheep, butterflies, flowers, anything that shows new life. So again I've just hunted around the house and I found little decals of birthday cards 
to use, little tiny crafted things if anyone makes cards. And I'm going to use that to pretty my garden. But as it's not Palm Sunday yet, I haven't pretted mine. But if you'd like to see my completed one, I shall bring it to the online gathering on Sunday. And if not, if you can't make it, don't worry. Um, I will post my picture up anyway. And hopefully, I'm really hoping that you will post your pictures up too of your resurrection gardens, however you made them. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing them. Good luck. Remember, have fun. Take care. Bye.